Trish Emerson started her consulting company in the basement of her home in 2000. It began with only two employees, a few referrals, and a tradition of family entrepreneurs. I've always known that I was going to be an entrepreneur. I always knew that I wanted to have my own business. I come from a family of entrepreneurs and business owners. She grew the business quickly and soon needed a place to process her fast growth. When I began with Vistage, I was, at, I was experiencing rapid growth and we were at two and a half million. The issue that I had at hand is I'm very good at my field, but I wasn't classically trained in financials. And I had somebody at the helm who wasn't either. And I would say my business was in crisis. Revenue was excellent. Cost containment was terrible. And the management of the financials, absolutely awful. We had no view, no sight lines into our metrics and into how the business should be managed. And so it was, it was a wonderful meeting, actually. It was one of the most painful meetings I've ever been through where I presented my financials. I actually pulled out my P&L, pulled out my chart of accounts, and showed the guys everything. And like I said, we have you know, the classically trained professional managers there, and they shredded it. And it was the best meeting of my life. Despite the tough love Trish received from her group, she remains grateful to have found a place where everyone is there to benefit from each other. We have two different types of CEOs in the group. We have what we call guns for hire, and then we have entrepreneurs. And I fell square within the entrepreneurial group. And that actually, it created a wonderful dialogue because the guns for hire are formally trained in how to be a successful CEO. And they sharpen those of us who are entrepreneurs, and they help reduce what I would call the learner's tax. As the business continued to grow, Trish was constantly faced with new challenges and found the perspectives of her fellow Vistage members invaluable. I've, I've been able to generate revenue. That's not been a problem for me. The problem for me truly has been the bottom line and the actual management of the expenses and the management of the business. And being able to have, again, a group of 20 people, professionals from different, different businesses, look at my books and look at what I'm doing and say, all right, questioning, what am I doing? How am I making these decisions? It's strengthened me as a manager and it's helped me make better decisions. Secret to the, the group is, first of all, the fact that the people in the group trust each other. I think it's, it's really who joins the group and our chair was very skillful at figuring out who needs to be in the group and, and getting the mix right. He has a number of groups and he's made a point of making sure that there's a good personality fit. We have We've had a number of people, who, again, who stayed long after they've finished their businesses, and they did it because they, I would say, genuinely loved the people in the group. And the fact that we can be honest with one another and tell our stories and know that there's no judgment there and there is a healthy challenging that occurs there, I mean, that's it. You know, you can, you can lay it all out there. These guys are going to help you overcome it.